three, two, one, go. So this is the clinical biomechanics lab in the health and exercise science department. The research that we, we do in here quite a bit is related to the foot ground interface with athletes, looking at how they move when they've got their cleats on and they're doing jumping, landing, cutting and pivoting. And so while they're doing that, we're measuring forces underneath their feet. We're also capturing their, their movements that they do, combining that all together to try and figure out how to make the foot ground interface optimized for both athletic performance and minimized for injury risk. It's really interesting to be able to learn about these things um, in the typical lecture setting, but then also get to see kind of how it's being applied in the tools that we use to do that. Good. I want to be able to take uh, all this motion capture software and simplify it into a way that we can get it uh, more accessible to the general public. So ideally, we don't have to go through this whole marker setup process, and we could just use regular cameras to determine things like whether or not someone's at risk for injury. So why don't we have you go ahead and go out there? And we'll it's see amazing to see this state-of-the-art equipment in action, getting to work with it, and hopefully reducing injury risk. My favorite thing about this lab is um, having access to such complex technology that allows us to quantify the smaller movements within the bigger movements so that we have access to um, knowledge that we can't see with our naked eye. Not all artificial turf fields are the same. We are trying to figure out how those different combinations of things really come together, such as putting a shock pad underneath different styles, different types, lengths, and size and shapes of the blades of grass. Uh, similarly, the infills that we use, the traditional crumb rubber, which is ground up tires, but also exploring alternatives to replace that to meet different needs, such as keeping temperatures cooler in the summer or um, you know, providing other more environmentally friendly alternatives as well. A lot of things in sports medicine are an interesting balance between uh, performance and safety, and this is something that where we get to do uh, address both of those um, kind of at the same time. There you go. So we're trying to figure out how to keep as many people active and, and healthy participants as possible.